good morning now we are going to discuss about the another method of production of ultrasonic waves that is piezoelectric oscillator before going uh, into the piezoelectric oscillation oscillator we should know about piezoelectric crystal first then we will go uh, and see how it is used in piezoelectric or piezoelectric oscillator piezoelectric crystal is the one which produces piezoelectric as well as inver inverse of piezoelectric effect normally quartz tourmaline rock salt are used as a piezoelectric crystal usually this is the shape of the piezoelectric crystal it is of hexagon in its shape and two promets are attached uh, attached at the two ends of it then here from the center here we have x y and z axis this x axis joins the corners of the hexagon and it is known as electric axis and this y axis it is drawn at the center of the hexagon and it is what we call it as mechanical axis then um, the third one is of joining the corners of the pyramid that is of z axis it is also called as optic axis then generally when you want to use a piezoelectric crystal in practice it should be cut in a, in such a way that one is of x cut and other is of y cut crystal how x cut crystals are forming this is a, a slice of a crystal which is cut perpendicular to the x axis if this is x axis you have to cut the slice perpendicular to the x axis that is known as x cut crystal when you use x cut crystal in piezoelectric oscillator it produces longitudinal ultrasonic waves when you want to have the y cut crystal means if this is a y, y axis we have to cut perpendicular to the y axis then the crystal sliced perpendicular to the y axis is known as y cut crystal which produces transverse ultrasonic waves so both can produce ultrasonic waves but it is of longitudinal type here it produces uh, transverse ultrasonic waves and now we will see what is of piezoelectric effect see first piezoelectric we know the meaning of it piezo means in a, it is a greek word the literal meaning for it is press or squeeze that means when you are applying electric field what happens this is mechanical effect will be produced some pressing effect will happen in that case or else when you are pressing or squeezing the crystal electric effect will be produced so both will happen vice versa then now we will see what is a piezoelectric effect when mechanical stress is applied that means uh, piezo means you are applying stress squeezing or pressing means you are, you are applying a stress on that crystal when mechanical stress is applied to the mechanical axis potential difference is developed across the electric axis and vice versa will also happen that means when you are applying a potential difference or electric field along electric axis expansion or contraction will also takes place that is what we call it as inverse of piezoelectric effect this inverse piezoelectric effect is the basic principle used for a piezoelectric oscillator now let us see the piezoelectric oscillator now this is the schematic of it when you explain the schematic diagram you will get the construction of it actually this consisting of a two coils primary and secondary coils and primary coil is connected to the battery here we have a transistor it is of npn type and here we have it is index connected to the coil l1 and l2 and c1 is the capacitor variable capacitor connector across it so that it forms a tank circuit it has its own inductive capacitive coil we know it has its own frequency this uh, circuit is inductively connected to uh, connected to the crystal here here two metal pieces a and b are there then l3 is a coil which is connected to the two metal plates in between the two metal plates a crystal is placed whether it is of x cut or y cut crystal which is placed along with, across it so which act as a two metal plates with the dielectric 
in its middle means which actors are capacitor here this is the construction of it so by transformer action crystal is set to into oscillation it is a primary circuit it is a base tuned circuit it is connected to the uh, transistor as well as the LN, uh, tank circuit here is the another coil this is a primary and secondary the, uh, due to the transformer action emf is set up here set up here and here l3 is another coil which is connected to the two metal plates in between that the crystal is there so here two metal plates in between the crystal this crystal act as a dielectric this is a construction of it and how it works means this is a construction uh, see i have given these lines whatever i said now this is for your convenience and just will go for work when battery is switched on it is a high tension battery when battery is switched on the uh, the oscillator produces high frequency oscillations if high frequency oscillations are produced means due to the transformer action uh, emf is induced in a transformer l3 by transformer action so now the crystal is set into high frequency alternating voltage that means it is oscillating with high frequency if c1 is varied uh, varied so that the oscillation in a tank circuit matches with the natural frequency of a crystal now the cr crystal vibrates with the larger amplitude how can you see which is when these are in resonance means the crystal is set into oscillation with high frequency high, then the uh, condition is set to be in resonance then uh, during the condition of resonance ultrasonic waves will be produced once again i repeat uh, the working when battery is switched on the oscillator produces high frequency oscillation high frequency oscillation then emf is induced in in the coil l3 due to transformer action now the crystal is set into high frequency alternating voltage if c1 is varied then the frequency of a tank circuit matches with the natural frequency of a crystal now the crystal vibrates with the larger amplitude due to the condition of resonance then high power ultrasonic waves will be produced under the condition of resonance what is we know the condition for resonance that is frequency of a tank circuit is equal to frequency of a natural uh, natural frequency of a vibrating crystal we know the expression for tank circuit frequency of a tank circuit 1 by 2 pi into square root of l1 into c1 here the same expression we have extra one uh, letter is there it is p p means p equal to 1 2 3 etc it is a mere numeric p is equal to 1 for fundamental note uh, and 2 for first overtone 3 for second overtone it goes on like this then l is the length of the vibrating crystal e is the young's modulus and rho is the density of the crystal used so and if the condition is satisfied then the crystal is said to be in resonance at that state ultrasonic waves are produced here let us see the merits and demerits here the number of advantages will exceed over the disadvantage so this is preferably this is a good when compared to the magnetic uh, magnetostriction oscillator here it produces the uh, ultrasonic waves with the frequency greater than uh, greater than about 500 megahertz output power is very high and is not affected by temperature but in the case of magnetostriction oscillator uh, frequently the rod gets affected by temperature then in consequence we cannot get the stable and constant frequency but here the output power is very high and is not affected by the temperature temperature and it is of more efficient method as well as stable and constant frequency are, we are getting so these are all the main advantages of the piezoelectric oscillator and main disadvantage of it when you use this crystal actually the cost of the quartz crystal is very high as well as cutting and shaping of the crystal is also complex it is quite complex these are the main drawback of this method but number of advantages will exceed over the disadvantages so it is the 
most efficient method frequently used for the production of ultrasonic waves. But there are, these are all the artificial productions. Then you know what are all the natural ways of producing ultrasonic almost all the uh, animals say best example for it is bats. Bats can produce ultrasonic wave uh, to detect the obstacle in its path as well as best application for ultrasonic waves we know it is of sonar. These are all the familiar topics with uh, you know in the case of ultrasonics. Okay. Just go through this video then we will um, meet you in uh, online class for clarification. We will meet you in the next class. Have a nice day. Thank you.